300 milligrams a day of this miracle nutrient for four weeks significantly lowered creatinine in stage four and five chronic kidney disease patients. Nine patients were able to stop dialysis thanks to it. Gathering here today, we talk about what scientists are starting to consider a miracle molecule for kidney health. Supplementing it has been shown to lower creatinine dramatically in patients in stage 4 and 5 of chronic kidney disease. Even more incredible, when this vitamin-like molecule was tested on dialysis patients, almost all of them had improved metabolic parameters. Nine patients were even able to leave dialysis altogether after just four weeks of treatment. Yes, the kidney repairing properties of this nutrient are amazing. Not to mention that this molecule can bring down blood pressure by up to 17 over 10 millimeters of mercury and it also fights high cholesterol levels. If this seems too good to be true, consider that I have linked all the studies I'm setting down in the description so you can check by yourself. Now guys, the miracle nutrient is called CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10. Okay, okay, before rushing to buy some CoQ10, please watch the rest of the video as there are some things you absolutely need to know about this coenzyme. Special attention should be paid by those with high cholesterol levels and those taking statins, Lipitor, Altprev, Lesco, and so on. Absolutely watch the whole video if you are in these groups. And also, in today's video, I will also show you the best way to take this incredible molecule. So, first question, what is CoQ10? CoQ10 is a vitamin-like nutrient that's in every cell of your body, every living cell, human, animal, or plant contains Q10. Its other name is ubiquinone to reflect its ubiquitous distribution. It's essential for energy production. Take the Q10 out of the cell and you have a cell that has as much potential as a V8 engine without spark plugs A dead engine. Health conditions like heart disease, brain disorders, diabetes, and cancer have been linked to low levels of CoQ10. It's even more important for the health of your kidneys because it is an incredibly powerful, almost miraculous molecule. And while CoQ10 is especially useful for those in the advanced stages, it may actually benefit everyone. So very important question. Is CoQ10 actually good for your kidneys? The kidneys contain a very high volume of blood. Toxins are circulating through them at any given time. This creates a constant wear and tear situation, a constant pressure the kidneys have to withstand. Scientists call it oxidative stress. It may cause kidney disease to progress at a much faster rate if left unchecked. This is why several researchers have gone on record citing CoQ10 as a way to prevent CKD from developing. And CoQ10 is also incredibly powerful against high blood pressure. In a meta-analysis of clinical trials published on the Journal of Hypertension, CoQ10 brought down blood pressure of the participants by up to 17 over 10 millimeters of mercury. Yes, an incredible result, better than the most common prescription drugs. It's clear that the effects this coenzyme has on the kidneys are powerful. As we have seen, taking CoQ10 may even reverse kidney disease. Okay guys, time to see exactly how to take CoQ10, in what doses, and for how long. Before that, I have one really important thing to show you. There is a correlation between cholesterol and CoQ10 all patients with high cholesterol levels should know about. CoQ10 as a remedy against cholesterol. People with high cholesterol tend to have lower levels of CoQ10. So CoQ10 has been proposed as an treatment for high cholesterol. 
There is some evidence it may reduce side effects from conventional treatment with cholesterol-lowering drugs called statins, which reduce natural levels of cocutane in the body. Lipitol, Altprev, Lescol, all these are known to lower cocutane levels in the body. Taking cocutane supplements can bring levels back to normal. Plus, studies show that cocutane may reduce the muscle pain associated with statin treatment. And while I always encourage you to consult your doctor before taking any new remedy, this one is incredibly helpful. So don't disregard it. I mean, it doesn't just save patients from dialysis, it also lowers blood pressure more effectively than medications. It fights high cholesterol and will also protect you from the dangers associated with taking statins, an incredibly common prescription medication. Another very important thing to know, this supplement may have some very mild side effects such as an upset stomach or diarrhea. Usually dividing the total daily dose by taking smaller amounts two or three times daily instead of a large amount all at once can help reduce side effects. The only serious interaction this supplement has is with anticoagulants such as warfarin. It may make them less effective, so consult your doctor especially if you are taking anticoagulants. Okay guys, let's see now the best way to take Cocutane for kidney health. In most studies, dosage of Cocutane range from 30 mg to 200 mg administered over periods of 4 to 12 weeks. While starting with the lowest dosage may work this supplement is very safe, as we have seen, and especially those in the advanced stages will find more benefit with a higher dose. Taking 60 mg three times daily of CoQ10 seems to be the most effective way. Since CoQ10 is fat soluble, it's good to take it with food so it has a better absorption rate. Always be sure to take it with something healthy. A salad with olive oil is an example of a good, healthy fat that would help Cocutane be better absorbed into the system and make its benefits much more quickly and easy attainable. Remember that you may take 4 to 12 weeks to see changes in your blood tests. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.